Hello everyone, today in front of me I have this Motorola Edge 30 smartphone and in this video we would like to show the best display settings to change on this device. So let's go ahead and head into the display category of settings first. Here, the first setting, the first option that I would like to talk with you about is called night light. And once enabled, it makes sure to filter out the excess amounts of blue light, which will prevent your uh, eye fatigue a lot. And basically, if your eyes are tired, it will uh, soften the screen, the display impact on them. As you can see, once it is enabled, it just makes everything look warmer, as I said, by filtering out the blue uh, spectrum of light. At the config setting configuration page, you can go ahead and uh, change the intensity of this mode by sliding the intensity bar respectively. There is also an opportunity to set some custom schedule for it to be uh, started and finished at some certain time. So basically it's just, once we set it to, at 10 p.m. for example, it will mean, that will mean that our phone will automatically activate this mode at 10 p.m. and deactivate at 6 a.m. The next option that it would highly recommend that you try changing and playing with is called colors. And in here you are able to switch between two color modes. And there is also this cute preview picture that allows you to see exactly how the colors that you have set will uh, look. And uh, at the very bottom of the colors <clears throat> option page there is this bar that allows us to regulate the color temperature as well. So we can go from cool all the way up to warm. Alrighty, we're moving on to the next setting that is called display refresh rate. And here we have two settings to choose from, actually three, like two values and three modes of the settings of the setting. So if you'll go for the 60 Hertz, you'll get your yourself less motion smoothness and scrolling smoothness as well, but uh, your battery will be drained significantly slower, so you'll have you'll get uh, the better battery life. And if you'll go for the 144 hertz value, that will get you the smoother animations, smoother scrolling experience, and overall like visual appearance of your system. But at the same time, it will drain more battery. Or uh, you can always choose the auto mode for this setting, and that will ultimately mean that the system will switch uh, between these two values in accordance with the current state of the battery and the current state with the system overall. So once you, your battery is not sufficient, that will mean that uh, it will probably switch you to the lower value or if you have enough battery, it will get you 144 Hertz alongside with smooth uh, animations and good visual experience. I'll leave it myself, I'll leave it at 144 Hertz. The next setting or option, a very quick one, is called flicker prevention and basically by turning on the switch that is located in front of it, uh, uh, you will tell the system to keep the screen from flickering in dark environments, so your screen will not like blink, you know, and flicker, basically. So if that's something that bothers you a lot, you can just go ahead and turn on the switch. And the final setting that we would like to review in this video is called peak display or or as it is uh, better known as the always on display. So here, let's go ahead and turn it on and go to its settings. Let me show how it look exactly. So as you can see, even once our screen is completely locked enough, it still shows some vital information like current time, date, battery state, 70% of the battery health is uh, now left some of the recent notifications that we can access by tapping and holding on them, so like the preview of them. So, and pretty much it. So here we are able to choose the design of this clock, three designs in total to choose from, which are also can be customized. Basically the only thing we can customize is the fact, uh, it's like the state of the background, whether it will be static or animated. Me, I'll go with this style of clock, for example. Here we can also manipulate this animated background switch. We can choose whether uh, we want the tap to wake up feature to be enabled. So once it is off, if I'll turn on, uh, turn off my display, that will mean that we cannot activate the pick display by simply tapping on the locked screen. So I'll, I will want to enable that. And some notification access as well. For example, you can block some apps from showing uh, their notifications on the pick display or always on display. Alrighty, so that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.